good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Um, this is one installment, well, the first installment of 2016 of my blog, Just War's Words. I'm going to also share this on several of my social media outlets as well. But it's just one thing that jumped out and, and keeps to be a reoccurring theme, at least for me in my life. Um, and I noticed this particular article today um, on food.com, The Motley Fool, and it's titled, Here's How Much the Average American Made Last Year by Age and Sex. So as we scroll down, you know, you can take your time to read through it in its entirety. But if you notice, as we get down to the graph, it breaks down the median salary by age and sex. So. We know these aren't exact numbers, but it is an average based on the statistics that was provided by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's a good website to check out to kind of um, get more insight about the decline or um, increase in the demand of the field in which you are in or seeking to be in or uh, exploring. So. If you notice, on this particular chart, it breaks down ages of 16 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, 55 to 64, and 65 plus. But as you look at this particular side of the column, you will note that it goes up to 55,000. And me, for my age range, in this, wait a minute, I'm not quite over here yet, but 25 to 34 range, they say... Man, the average male salary is forty thousand dollars, well forty thousand one hundred dollars, and the average female salary is thirty six thousand one hundred dollars. Now, if you think that's enough for you, that's a lot of money for you. Fine, this isn't direct to you. However, if you have some real life situations you're experiencing and you see that those numbers just won't cut it. I'm just urging you to just look at yourself, look elsewhere, and don't necessarily just try and depend on that one stream of income because it can become problematic. So if you know that you may be worth more than that or that you have skills that you can utilize to get you some income, definitely look at those because my thing, one of my things for this 2016 year is um, basically to do three things. One is to realize, another is to capitalize, no, I'm sorry, one is to realize, another is to monetize, and then another is to capitalize. Basically, we're going to realize what I can do successfully, well, that people would enjoy or may seek me for to do for them whatever service I may provide, whether it may be a speaking engagement, uh, writing something, you know. Y'all know I've written a book, right on, right on. The copy's still available. But I know that it seems like for myself, as well as other people in my age group, it seems like we have to do more. It's not necessarily just go to school and get that job and you'll have the lifestyle that you desire. It seems like things have changed. Because to me, looking at this, this chart, it shows me that while many things have increased, income is one of the things that have not increased. Or if, if it has increased, it has increased marginally. Very, very little. Very, very small increase. So, once again, look into yourself. Realize what you can do. Try and monetize that in order for you to capitalize and gain some additional income. First installment of Just War's Words, um, Happy New Year. I guess, what is this, January 4th? Yeah, January 4th, 2016. Like my buddy Jermaine said on, page, on January 1st, page one, is the first day of your story. Now here we are on page four. Page four, better keep the reader engaged. Better keep, hold their attention, so... Keep on writing. Write your story. Make it your own. Don't just think that 
things happen to you, you have a hand in what happens to you. You know, you sh you you can dictate your situation. You can dictate your destination. Thank you.